Welcome to historic St. Mary City, a museum of living history and archaeology located on Maryland's first capital and one of our nation's most beautiful historic places. Decades of research are the foundation for the exhibits that are located across the acres and acres of this tidewater landscape. Costumed interpreters help the visitors experience what life might have been like for the American Indians and the people newly arrived from Europe and Africa in the 1600s. Step on board the Maryland Dove, a sailing ship like those that carried Maryland's colonists to the New World. At the town center, you can set your hands to work on a printing press or try a colonial game. See the livestock at our working colonial farm and discover how archaeologists uncovered the past. We invite you to get involved, get your hands dirty, and ask plenty of questions. We are proud that our museum is a leading tourist site, a resource for scholars, and a popular location for weddings, private parties, and corporate events. So find out for yourself why historic St. Mary City is so much more than just another pretty place. Historic St. Mary City, a place where history comes alive and is brought to life by incredible people like Cheryl Yateman. Cheryl, it's nice to have you. Oh, it's nice to meet you. Thank now, you. you're the Public Programs Coordinator. Mm -hmm, correct. And I think that's a really neat part of what St. Mary City does because, you know, people come to the plantation and they see the grounds and they see the, the people walking around in character and they get mm -hmm. to ask questions and know what's going on. Mm -hmm. But then you're the next level of going above and beyond and really educating people or helping them be a part of a specific aspect of mm. history. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about some of the programs you offer. All right, great. Um, we have one program that we're going to be continuing on because it's turned out to be very popular is our Little Explorer series. Okay. And that's for preschoolers. So we do that on our first and third Wednesday. It's a lot of fun. Kids come out and they can learn a little bit about history. It's a very beginning introduction for small children mm -hmm. of history. So then it's such a huge concept. But we find a really fun way to, to bring it alive for them. Um, and that's one thing I think is really special about that program here at this museum is it's specific to our site. Mm -hmm. So we have stories, we do crafts, we allow the kids to do hands-on activities, whether it's helping water the plants, um, or we put it also in context of things they already know, like we had a mother goose uh, little explorers. Aww. So they're learning about these rhymes. Some of them were written a little bit around this time period, a little bit later, but the objects that were mentioned in those rhymes were things that they don't quite understand what, they, like Lucy Lockett lost her pocket kind of thing of like, right. where does this, how does someone lose a pocket if it's attached to you and showing them what a pocket was then and they get to put their hands on it and compare it to what they have today. So that's one thing I really enjoy about that. Um, another program we're going to be having is our lecture series. We're mm -hmm. going to continue those. Uh, so we'll be having lectures with people in the community and also having staff here and some members from the college will be giving lectures as well, which is really exciting. We've got mm -hmm. a lot of great, great options coming up. Um, we're also going to be starting a Christmas program that I cannot oh. wait. I know. Great. <laughs> it is. It is. We're going to be doing uh, open in, in December during weekends. Mm -hmm. So we're, we'll be having special tours. We'll be having community members come and sing in our chapel, which is beautiful. Have you ever been to I the have, chapel? I have, and it's incredible. It is. And to hear voices in there is... Oh, the acoustics must be amazing. <laughs> they are. They really are. So it's, it's pretty exciting. So I think that's something really fun that we're just starting this year. And also we'll be starting... Um, a visit with Santa. Well, kids will be able to come here. And granted, Santa, not a part of this part of the museum, but we're also looking into other ways for people to experience the museum, mm -hmm. um, reaching out to other audiences, you know, and, and finding new ways that people can explore and see and have a good time while they're here. You know what? I've talked to a number of different people um, doing different things in the museum, and one thing that catches me at Historic St. Mary City is that each person has a piece <laughs> of, of whether it's history or modern day or programs or what have you, mm -hmm. and all of them like you love, love their piece of the pie. And I think that's yeah. what makes all of Historic St. Mary's City so exciting. Absolutely. We talked to Godiya Spray, yeah. if you will, from the yeah. plantation <laughs> right. in one of our interviews, and he was talking about um, 1600s versus modern day. Mm -hmm. And it's exciting to see your part, because you're very much about technology and bringing mm -hmm. the future yes. to life here. Absolutely. And that's one, thing, that's one thing that I always feel is important about these some of the family programs we're having, as well as reaching out to adults and whomever is letting people see and learn about history in ways that they might not have thought of necessarily. Absolutely, right. because, and that's what history is. It's very rounded. It's not a single vision. So. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, Cheryl, it was nice to talk to you. You have wonderful nice programs at Historic St. Mary City. Well, thank you. It's good to talk to you, too. Wonderful. <laughs> bringing the past to life and bringing the future to life as well at Historic St. Mary City.
Historic St. Mary City is located on Route 5 near St. Mary's College of Maryland. To learn more about us, please visit www.stmarys.city.org.